Hey guys, Shepherd Garage here. Um, I know it's been a while, but I've had some things in the works, like this new car that's coming to the channel. Um, that's what this video is going to be about. Obviously, you probably tell by the title. It's my new 2002 C5 Corvette. Well, new to me. Um, picked it up about two, three weeks ago. Got a amazing deal on it. Um, but it ends up needing a motor, so so be it. Throw a motor in it. Have a running and driving C5 Corvette. It's an automatic. I'll show it to you here in a second, but this is just gonna be some videos of uh doing some stuff on it. So we just started taking everything off, got the coil pack uh, bolts out got the plug wires off so i'm just gonna try today and get coil packs off and take out all that out and i want to try to get the heads off tonight that way when i go to do it tomorrow or wednesday i can get the motor the rest of the way out i already have a new engine for it this isn't the original engine for the car this is a LQ460, I believe, but not sure. Only thing I know is that it has 317 heads and it needs an engine. But this is it. So let's get to it. This is pretty interesting how far they got this bolt back in here. It's gonna be hard to get to, but just two bolts left and takes ready to come off. And I'm gonna start pulling all that out. This is my first time ever working on a Corvette before, so I don't really know what I'm doing for the most part. I guess I'm just learning as I go. And then after I get that stuff out, I'm probably gonna try to pull the front accessory drive off. That way it makes it easier for me to get to the header bolts and all that. So. I will update you guys as soon as I get that done. So, uh, got the intake off, got some of the parts covering the radiator and condenser out. Um, as you can see, it's a good thing we decided to do this because, um, yeah, that needs to be cleaned out real good in order for everything to work properly and keep cooling good. So, it's a good thing we're pulling it apart like this. Engine's gonna come out through the top, which isn't usually done like that. They usually drive everything out from underneath. So I'm gonna try and do this and see how well it goes. And I will update you guys the more I get done. Well, here's you guys an update. Got the radiator out. That was a pain. Definitely did not think I was gonna be that into it, but there's you a look at the radiator it's a good thing i wanted to do this get it all cleaned out now so I'll have better cooling so now i'm going to go ahead and pull the water pump off and then the power steering pump and alternator bracket and i'm going to probably try and get underneath of it and drop the ac compressor bracket off of the engine so yep Go ahead and get to this and then about halfway there. Hey guys, so <clears throat> it's currently like 8.30 ish. Finished up what I'm doing for the day. I gotta get ready for work in the morning. But made it pretty far, farther than I thought I was going to. So hopefully the motor will be out within the next couple of days. But had a 4.8 in it. Who puts a 4.8 in a Corvette? I don't know, but at least it's getting an LQ9 now. But anyways, this will wrap up this video. So if you want to see more, comment, like, subscribe. And yeah, I will post more of the Corvette and possibly my gold truck you've seen on the channel. And I also have my Yukon, so thanks for watching.